Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andre. I added new agent support into Sparrow and this agent works with OCR. Um, this means uh, we can process now uh, uh, images or scan documents and then from OCR I get back array of text and then I pass this array of text to the LLM and uh, based on the fields that uh, uh, I included into the query then the LLM returns the values for these fields. Uh, it extracts data from, from the document. So basically there are two steps. First is uh, OCR, extracting uh, text from the image, then analyzing this text with LLM. And this uh, new agent is called vProcessor. I have updated a readme of Sparrow. I explain how to invoke this uh, agent either from command line or from the API. And uh, this is the <clears throat> example which is also documented on, on GitHub where I show how you can uh, execute uh, OCR request uh, just for testing. So uh, here we pass the image URL, but uh, also it's possible to pass the file path directly. And then this from this image, we extract the text. And here we show the uh, actual results. So this is the uh, sample receipt uh, with the guest number and uh, cashier name and items, total and other information. And this is the text we are getting from OCR. And I'm using <coughs> Paddle OCR tool, and I think uh, it's probably one of the best at the moment free uh, OCR uh, options available. I like it because uh, Paddle OCR out of the box is able to group related words, uh, for example, on the same line uh, together in, in, into the single uh, uh, response element. Like here, uh, your guess number is, for example, is grouped into the single one, single single sentence, then the name, uh, card type, and so on. And this kind of grouping uh, helps to reduce number of texts uh, which is being sent to the LLM, and it basically helps LLM to provide a correct answer because uh, there, there is a is some kind of grouping and this is less of the work uh, is dedicated for LLM to process the response. Okay, and now if you look into the uh, example how to call this agent, uh, he, uh, this is the example. I pass the field names to be extracted types, then I specify agent v processor and I specify uh, file path. And this file path is on a local machine, to <coughs> it points to the image of the receipt. Then we execute and then we can see that OCR is executed uh, and then we get construct, construct uh, dynamic response class, uh, load OLAMA and run inference and uh, LM inference is executed on uh, OLAMA. And then this is the response we get. Uh, there are some mistakes like for example names of the receipt items not correctly uh, uh, printed here but still it's almost correct, but not not 100%. Uh, authorized amount is correct, receipt date is correct, guest number and cashier name are correct, transaction number are correct. But uh, this runs on a 7B uh, LLM. If you try on 13B or 70B LLM uh, closer by f by by performance to ChatGPT, then you will get uh, a proper proper response. So it really depends on what kind of LLM you are using. But even with 7B LLM, uh, the text that comes from the OCR is processed uh, very well, and it's processed way better than uh, uh, for the same exactly test. Uh, uh, way better if you would compare to the multimodal Lava 1.6 LLM, for example. So this approach with OCR, uh, at least uh, for the moment, works better than uh, open source multimodal LLM. Okay, now let's uh, look into the implementation uh, of the agent. So we have we are following the same interface uh, of the Sparrow agent implementation. There is standard run pipeline method. I explained this in the previous videos, so you can, if you're interested in Sparrow agents, you can check it out. And what we're doing here, we're uh, loading the file and in the first step executing OCR and getting back response. OCR runs on a completely separate uh, uh, fast API, as, a, as a separate fast API endpoint, uh, it uh, runs outside of the uh, LLM Sparrow uh, endpoint, and <coughs> OCR is handled there. So we pass the uh, vProcessor OCR endpoint to execute it. Then we get back the response, and then we start. Uh, we, we build dynamic class based on the fields and types provided in the request. 
then uh, we're using here uh, we construct a llama uh, we construct connection to the llama and then uh, from a llama index we're using llm text completion program and this is very nice way to execute llm request because you don't need uh, uh, to put data into the vector database uh, you just uh, pass data directly and you specify template where you specify the query and say that using this structured data coming from uh, OCR you want to execute the query so in this case you would retrieve certain fields uh, and you would use uh, data from OCR which will be included into this template through document data variable in this case and if you look into the text completion program here so we see that we pass a response model which will help to construct proper JSON output then we pass template and we pass uh, instance of the LM we're using for llama and then we execute the program here and we pass document data so document data is exactly the, the name from the template and then we pass uh, data and the data here is the text that is extracted from OCR and this helps to simplify the pipeline because there's no need to use uh, vector database we just can operate with text directly and through this llm text completion program from llama index we can uh, run inference and get back the, the result uh, without uh, embedding data and storing it into the vector store so this helps a lot for this kind of use, use cases like like this one because uh, we don't operate with the document we operate with the array of text that is coming from OCR so we don't need to create a document we don't, we don't need to embed it and so on so it uh, simplifies the workspace a lot um, the, the workflow sorry right and then we get back the JSON response and print it out yeah, so this is a uh, uh, quick tutorial and I really like it because uh, now we have the option to process image files, image documents and again the quality of data extraction will depend a lot on um, LLM that you are using and probably in future also uh, when I'll test it with more complex documents I'll see if the output of OCR also can be somehow enhanced for the complex documents maybe there'll be some wrong ordering or so on uh, so when I'll test with more complex documents I'll add more logic to enhance the <coughs> OCR output because currently uh, the output we are getting from OCR is the raw output without any uh, post-processing so thanks for watching try it out and uh, See you next time with the next video. Bye.